Everybody, Brickleber18 here today with my 2020 LEGO Christmas haul. So for starters, I just want to start this video off by saying Merry Christmas to everybody. I know 2020 has been a super weird year. It's almost to a close now, which is really exciting, but I still want to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas. I hope you all had a really great time with your friends and family. I have now done LEGO Christmas hauls for the last eight years now. They've become a Christmas tradition here in my household, and I'm excited to keep that alive this year with my 2020 LEGO Christmas haul. So I'm just going to get right into it. So the first set that I'm going to show you in this haul video is actually the largest set that I received this Christmas and it is set number 60271, the LEGO City Main Square. I'm really excited about this set because it's got a lot of really cool builds, but also because it's actually my first major LEGO City set that I've received in a really long time, especially at Christmas. I've, you know, kind of been gearing towards the LEGO modulars, the creator experts and things like that. So it's really nice to kind of go back to my roots, especially in the eighth year of making these LEGO haul videos and flip it back with a LEGO City set. So I'm very excited to get to build the set and put it on display, you know, in my LEGO room or even in my LEGO City. The next set I received this Christmas is also actually a LEGO City set and in a set number 60262, the LEGO City Passenger Airplane. I've actually already built this one up and it is a really cool set. I'm really impressed with the cargo plane and like just the plane in general. And I think it would be really cool to take this, kind of like what Jane Bricks does, and make it a much like a jumbo jet. I might actually do that, but this is a really cool set. I think definitely one of the best 2020 LEGO City sets and is one that I'm super excited to you know, add to my Lego collection. So as you can see, there is a little bit of a trend of Lego City sets here, but the next set that I received was actually set number 60258, the Tuning Workshop. This is a really cool set. I think it's gonna be awesome to add to my Lego City. Again, just so many really great minifigures and characters that will work in the city perfectly, but also so many really cool cars, and I'm always looking for new things to add to the city. This next set is actually the second largest set I received this Christmas season, and it is actually the Lego Classic set number 11011, the 50 1500 piece Black Friday deal. This is, you know, this one specifically is called Bricks and Animals. It comes with a huge box of 1500 Lego pieces, so many different parts there, and it's going to be just great to build with. You know, I'm always looking for new parts and stuff like that, so I can't wait to open this set up and really dive in to see some of the pieces. Moving it on from the Lego City Dynasty here, I want to show you some of the other sets that I was so fortunate enough to receive this Christmas season. The first one is set number 21052, the Lego Architecture Dubai set. This one's got 740 pieces. Pieces, and you all know me, I absolutely love the LEGO architecture theme. I think they're full of really cool sets, and I'm always excited to add a new skyline to my collection. I've never actually been to Dubai before, but I can't wait to build this one up. This next set's actually a bit out of character for me, but it's one that I had on my wish list and I'm super excited to have. It is actually set number 76162 the Lego Marvel Black Widow Helicopter Chase. So, you all know me, I'm not even a huge superheroes fan and I haven't really watched any of the movies, but I just thought this was a really cool helicopter, one I saw on the Lego Shop at Home website, and I thought it would be really great to add to, you know, my like police secret service line of, you know, fleet of vehicles. So, I wanted to pick up this set, I don't really care too much about the Lego minifigures, but I still think it's a pretty cool build, and I think it'll go great in my Lego collection. Actually, continuing with the line of sets that are a little out of character for me, this one is one, again, I'm really excited about receiving this Christmas season. It is actually set number 75280, the 501st Legion Clone Troopers, aka the 501st Battle Pack. So, of course, I put this set on my wish list because I think it's got such a cool story behind it. The fact that this set was, you know, kind of inspired from a LEGO fan, you know, campaigned from a LEGO fan, a, huge, a person in this LEGO YouTube community, I think is really cool. I'm not a huge fan of Star Wars, but I'm definitely planning to build this set up and put it on display in my LEGO room, but more or less I just wanted to make sure I picked up this set eventually because I wanted to support the idea behind it. Because in my mind, if LEGO sees this set from a, you know, a fan campaign do really well, they might be more apt to listen to fans in the future. So I'm really excited to get this set, add it to my collection based on all the history of it, but it still looks like a pretty cool set and I'll probably make a video on this one especially. I'm really excited to have received set number 70827. This LEGO Movie 2 Ultra Caddy Warrior and Lucy. Very excited to build this one up with the interchangeable faces and add this to my LEGO Movie 2 collection. The next set I received this Christmas is also one that I imagine is retiring very, very soon, and it is actually set number 70430 the Hidden Side Subway. So these are really cool sets. I've had a lot of fun building some of the Hidden Side sets so far. So I can't wait to build this one up and add it to my Hidden Side shelf. And who knows, one of these days I might actually have to download the Hidden Side app and do some playing around with it. I was also fortunate enough to receive set number 66636, you know, 
This to me seems like a really unlucky set number, but whatever, I still think it's cool. This is a super pack two-in-one. I've never really seen LEGO do two-in-one packs here in Canada. I've always seen them on Brickset and have never been able to see them in person, but I think this is really cool. It comes with both the LEGO uh, monster truck as well as the LEGO City or mail, like mail plane, and you can see those two sets are up there, but this looks like a really cool build. I can't wait to open this up, my first two-in-one. I'll probably make a video about it just because I don't know what the packaging's like. Are they individually boxed? Are they just wrapped? together who really knows but I think that's a really cool way you know really cool way to sell these two sets this last Lego City box set that I received this Christmas is one you know you're gonna see in a video in you know in probably uh, July of 2021 it's actually this Lego City fire boat this is set number 60213 the dockside fire also to go along with this 1500 pieces of Lego classic you know bricks and animals I received this Lego classic set it is bricks and ideas which is very very cool set number 111 001, so very similar to that set number here, except this one's got 123 different Lego pieces. You all know from my recent videos, you know, all about the Lego seasonal sets. I'm a huge fan of these, so I'm really excited to add these limited edition sets to my collection. The first one is set number 40416, the brand new 2020 ice rink. This one's really cool. It's actually available on Lego Shop at Home right now, but it's got 304 Lego pieces. Comes with a couple of different minifigures here, and overall, it's just going to go great in my winter village or like in my Lego city. I'm probably not going to build this one up this year. I'm going to enjoy it for next Christmas, but still is a really cool build. This one here is actually another seasonal build that I'm really excited about, and that is set number 40410. This set, you know, the Charles just Dickens A Christmas Carol book is pretty incredible. I've seen so many great videos and reviews on this one. It's got 333 Lego pieces, and again, is one I'm probably going to build up next year. And the last box set that I'm going to show you in this haul is also a gifted purchase, and it is set number 6346101. That's a mouthful but it is this teal 2x4 lego brick and i had a lot of fun building the red 2x4 brick so this one's going to be super exciting to build and display next to that one i also just want to mention that i was really fortunate to actually receive two of the teal bricks gift with purchases as well as two of the charles dickens a christmas carol set so very very cool and very excited about those these next two things aren't actually lego sets but they're really cool these were i think gift with purchase sets but here we've got the lego city vip gifting set there's a lot of different you know wrapping paper bags uh gift tags and stuff like that and it's the same one here both lego city vip ones i'm honestly not too sure what the story from these are i'm not sure how you get them or where you get them or anything like that but they're really cool and i'm probably going to save them maybe for next year's secret santa or you know when i have kids that really are into lego wrapping i'll have these set aside this christmas i also received a couple more of the 2020 seasonal sets these ones were not gift with purchases but just regular purchases as you can see here the santa snow globe which i always love the christmas ornaments the lego reindeer snow globe as well as these two ornaments that is the snowman and another reindeer and i just thought the packaging from this one was really cool i hadn't expected that i also received the 2020 easter set with this really cool easter lego minifigure as well as as for my door, this Lego magnet from London. So I'm really excited about this. You know, you all know I've been to London. I loved it. So I can't wait to build this guy up and add it to my Lego room. I also received this really cool Lego Star Wars keychain. I believe that's Han Solo. And if it's wrong, I'm really sorry. You'll have to correct me down in the comments. Before I show you some of the poly bags that I received this Christmas, I also just wanted to show you some of the collectible minifigures. So I did receive one of the Super Mario's collectible packs, which I have not built yet. So I'm not sure which you know buildable character was included in there but i also received several of the new 2020 lego series 20 minifigures and like i mentioned i was fortunate to receive several different poly bags for christmas myself and my mom we really love the poly bags so there's always a hunt to try and find some of the new ones i'm not going to talk about each one in detail but i'm going to pan the camera and show you some of the different poly bags that i was lucky enough to receive These were at the bottom of the polybag bag, so I almost forgot about these, but I cannot forget them. These are really cool minifigure packs. So this first one here is Cinema 40373, Lego Creator Fairground set. The 
as well as the Lego Movie 2 accessory kit. But this one comes with Emmett, this character here, I can't remember her name, and two of the Brick Babies. And finally, the last thing that I received for Lego for the Christmas season is this really cool Lego City magazine. Kind of like the two-in-one sets, you know, the two-in-one set that I received. I've never seen these catalogs or these magazines here in Canada. It came with these really cool Lego City builds. We've got the Lego City, you know, Harl Hubs, I guess is his name. He looks like a construction worker, as well as this guy, which is this Lego City Space set. So I've never seen these sets before. I'll probably open these up on an episode of Mini Build Monday or something like that, but that's just really, really cool. Uh, I can't wait to read this magazine because I've just never seen anything like it in Canada. So this actually brings me to the end of my 2020 Lego Christmas haul. So first off, I just want to thank you, all my friends and family so much for all the amazing Christmas gifts this season. I'm so excited to have so much new Lego to build, and I'm very lucky and very fortunate to have such great you know, friends and family kind of here in my life. And everybody watching this video, thank you so much for checking out my 2020 Lego haul. Again, as I said, I'm very fortunate to have received these sets this year. I've already built the Lego City plane, and I can't wait to see which set I should build next you'll have to let me know as well down below what lego sets you receive for this christmas i'm always excited to hear because with thousands of lego sets on the market everybody's christmas does look a little bit different which is super cool so anyway thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy please don't forget to leave a like comment and of course subscribe don't forget to let me know down in the comments below which lego set you received this christmas season and of course stay tuned for a bunch of new videos about these sets coming very very soon thanks again so much for watching and i'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video merry christmas and Happy New Year, everybody.